Good evening to my gentle viewing audience. You read the title correctly, and I'm only going to talk about this for a moment. It's more, I guess, like a prelude. Your man Shane Black has gotten a strike on his new channel. I know the fuck I got a strike. How many people even watch the damn video? <laughs> Just due to the fact I posted that shit, got busy cooking, came back. It's like within three hours, within three fucking hours, it said community strike hate speech. So y'all know your man Shane. That video is now on my website. It's now on the website under the news link or under the news tab. So just go to www.ashamedtobeblack.com. You'll see the tabs up there. Just click news and it'll be the top motherfucker up there. It was fuck June 26. Gotta give motherfucker a chance to eat. So say June 26th. By 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, whatever the fucking time it is, 8 o'clock, Tuesday, June 26th. And then you tell me, you come, hopefully you'll come back here and tell me, but then again, I've only got three subscribers. But I probably had 100,000 views. I'll be able to tell as soon as the analytics catch up. But what I did talk about, is the woman who's no I'm sorry the 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 creation with female genitalia who should hopefully be pictured where you picture on your screen right now I forget what the fuck the name is Etten because it's like Mickey Mouse it's like me Allison Etten or Etel or whatever the fuck who called who allegedly called the police on an eight-year-old and then was like I pretended I called the police on the eight-year-old uh, spokesman for the San Francisco Police Department said there was no call to their there's no record of any call to their department no police ever came out to the scene and now Allison is talking about how she's getting death threats all I did was talk to you about white people weaponizing the police against black individuals. Maybe I'll talk about it for a minute here without mentioning specific individuals. You see, it happens more often than not. You had, um, what was that, Permit Patty. Prior to that, Barbecue Becky. And before that, people that we don't even know about. Just calling the police to, to make an attempt to get a black person, worst case scenario, to get a black person killed because they did not like the person or what the person was doing. Mediocre uh, result. Oh, get the black person in trouble. Oh, they've got a ticket. They've got to go to jail. They got the shit beat out of them and then they released him and told him to have a nice day. And what white people in general would likely hate is just the police not coming out at all or coming out and saying that it was the white person who was at fault and they shouldn't have called in the first place. But more and more in society, white people are calling the police on black individuals for the most for minor infractions or imagined infractions either way it doesn't make a difference it's not a circumstance wherein the police should have been called so go to my website www.ashamed2 and that's the number 2 bblack.com tomorrow 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Daylight Time. So I, I'm going to hit you prime time with that. It's an 18 minute video, but well worth the view. Apparently white people don't like y'all hearing the truth. 
That's it. That's all. Jennifer Viewer, I'm out.